Hey guys, Stephen from Heresy Academy here. We're very, very close to ending the series now. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm just going to throw in an audio clip just to sort of show you how to add in and set up your audio. Um, there's, there's a lot of options you can do for audios, but we're, uh, we're just going to focus on one sort of quick, well, not quick, you know, we'll, we'll take our time as much as we need. I'm just hoping we don't um, we don't have another an hour long video just for this. We shouldn't do, we should all be fine. So as you can see, in my assets here, I've got a sounds folder. I'm just going to click show in Explorer so it brings it up. Uh, the reason for this is simply because uh, we haven't imported the sounds yet. So I'm going to back out to Breakout Clones, Breakout Tutorial, open my assets here. That's where I'm saving it. And we're going to use the ball as hit. So let's just drag this into our sounds folder, let it import. You can add in as many sounds as you want, uh, add in a soundtrack to the game, things like that. Absolutely fine. What we're going to do, so I've got my ball is hit sound. Um, you can usually do a preview over here. That'll do. Um, so, what we're going to do, what should we attach this to? We'll attach it to the ball. Um, we'll scroll down. Well, we don't need transform, we don't need sprite render, we don't need the ball script, we don't need rigid body, we don't need circle collider. So, we're going to add a component. And what we want to add is called audio source. And you can search it in here and go down to your audio menu and go to audio source, add it in. Um, what we want to do, play on awake, it'll be no. We don't want to play it on awake, we want to we want to tell it when to play. Uh, another one down here, the spatial blend. It's gonna be a 2D, well, it is a 2D game, everything's set up 2D. We want this dragged along to be zero. Or 2D. I mean, you can have a mess around with all these settings yourself, see what you like, stereo, pan, pitch, volume, stuff like that. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, all I'm doing is putting it to 2D, turning off the play on awake, and setting up the audio clip over here now. See audio clip? Click on the dot here, click ball is hit. Now, that isn't everything we need to do because we still need to tell it when to play. So, I'm going to go to Mono Develop and I'm going to open the ball script. And what we want to do inside the ball scripts now, uh, we'll make ourselves another void, another function. The reason to do this is to pre prevent from having to write the same line a few times. So this may work a bit different to you if you've got several different sounds. Um, you'll want to set it up a little bit different, but you'll still un you should understand how to do it from this next bit here. So we're using the ball. Um, the ball script will be attached to the ball, the audio source is attached to the ball. So all we need to write here is get component, because we, we don't have to reference anything, we don't have to go ball.get component or anything like that. We can just say get component, then audio source, make sure it's audio source, not audio clip. And I'll open these and I'm gonna go dot play because that's what we need to, that's the function to play our our tunes. And that's it, that's all you need to write here. So within the ball now, um, in this case you need a second, like pause it and have a look. Uh, we've wrote void play sound, this is our, our call, calling our function. We just use get component because we're using a get component of the ball and the script is on the ball. And then we go down to our collisions. So if it's the paddle, I want to play my sound. So I'm going to go down to play sound, open up like that, doing it on top of the if command, and then also if it is else, so if it is the bricks, I want to play my sound, like that, and that's that. Now, if you had a different sound for the paddle, and a different sound for the bricks, and a game over sound if you wanted to hit the game edge and stuff like this, uh, you'd set it up slightly a bit differently. So I'm just now going to give you an example. I'll write it in, well, I don't have to write it in comments, I can actually, it'll work in here. So we'll make another void, and we'll just mess audio, okay. I'll open this up now. So inside here, let's say we wanted a different a different sound when you, ha and you hit the paddle than when you hit the bricks. So inside the paddle let's see what we've got now we've got reference of paddle haven't we have we got a reference of paddle somewhere yeah so we've got our paddle there 
So we've got our paddle, we've got our game edge, but we just want paddle at the moment. So we'll go down to our mess audio, paddle, then dot, if we get component still, no. Why are you doing this to me? I just want the normal small paddle. This one. Why is it doing this? What's happening? Oh, have I not got a proper reference of paddle then? Maybe I have to do it with Vincent inside there. All oh, right, right. I apologize. Okay. Um, ignore this then. All right. I've got it set up, obviously, just to do the one. So what you'd have to do, if you had a different sound for your paddle, I didn't understand why I didn't reference it then. I do paddle dot get component, and you do the same thing here, audio source, and then dot play. Okay, now the issue with this is the paddle doesn't have an audio source, but the script doesn't know that just yet. So I'll save this and I'll give you an example now. Da, 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 da. Go back to Unity, let it load in. I'll tell you what, I'll put in the other sound then. Yeah, we'll put the other sound in. Uh, it loads. Okay. So we'll go back to our assets and then we'll show it in this Explorer again. Go back to our breakout tutorial, go to our assets and we'll go for the Go sound. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Drag the Go sound into the sounds folder. Okay. So now we go to the paddle. And um, before we do anything else then, we'll just we'll just click play, see if you can hear the sound. All right, so it's having a bit of an issue there. Yes. It's not bouncing back up now. A bit weird. Right, so you can see now there'll be a warning down here as well. There is no audio source attached to the paddle, but a script is trying to access it. So don't worry about that. Um, the reason the ball didn't bounce as well is because basically, uh, where is it now? It's got to the paddle bit, and then it's hit the paddle, but then this line didn't work. It's like, oh, no, so it's not done this either. It's like, oh, uh, whatever. It didn't, it, it sort of stopped itself. It's like, oh, what's happening? So go to the paddle and add in the audio component. I just wanted to show you that the sound works. So audio, then audio source. Play on the wake is no. Spatial blend is 2D. And the audio clip is now going to be the go sound. So you want to save it. And you want to click on play. And you might be able to hear people outside. I apologize. So you see, and that's how you set up your audio. Um, the actual audio that I've got here is taken from uh, a game, it's called Glowpong, it's made by a friend of mine, um, well, a few friends of mine. Uh, it should be out soon, actually, so, you know, this is me endorsing Glowpong here, and, I don't know, I'll, I'll drop a link in the video when it's available, so check out Glowpong if you want to hear this sound in real life, sort of real life. Okay, so yeah, that's that does that's does it for the audio um, at the end of this video. And as a matter of fact, we could actually be at the end of our series. Um, let me just have a quick think. We've got a score. Uh, we've got the game over. It just repeats itself. Um, the bricks build themselves. It's dynamic across different screen sizes. The paddle, uh, the boundary of that is a dynamic across different screen sizes. Um, that's it, really, because we've done a menu. Uh... We didn't really finish off the menu, I suppose. We could look at doing that. Uh, so, we'll open up the menu. I mean, it works. It's not set up to have sprites and stuff. But if you go to your play button and then over here, 
Uh, if you go to image script, I don't know. Let me just try and I'll, I'll cancel this because I don't actually want to do this. But open up the sprites here. I don't know. Sorry. So we'll go to the play button and grab this and drag it over there. So that's now the button now looks a lot better. Options button. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Then you're going to go down to your options button, drag the green one, so that creates it as blue. Then you're going to just minimize that a minute and go over to this one. Let's make the sound control to be yellow and the back button to be pink. That's essentially what I was planning to do with the buttons, uh, except I was going to bring in images that had the words written in onto them. Um, obviously set up a background stuff like that so i suppose we could do some more work on the menu if if you guys wanted to see that um it's not really necessary you, you've got everything you need now within this series if i missed anything out if you still got any questions drop a comment on any of the videos and i'll, I'll reply um i'll try to send me a message I'm, I'm sure there's a way to send me a message on youtube or through email do you get me email i don't know maybe but yeah, so I really hope you've enjoyed the series. I know it's, it's gone on a bit over the, a lot of videos. Um, I do talk a lot, but I also try try and try to explain everything I possibly can to you. Um, I just saved it by mistake. I meant to do undo. There we go. There we go. Yeah, just wanted to undo everything. Um, yeah, so I, I try to explain things. Um, I hope I get the point across. If I do leave you a bit confused, you know, just drop a question. I'm sure I can explain it better, you know, in, in text. But yeah, so this is essentially everything you need for a breakout clone game. Uh, I do want to work on another video series. Uh, I'm actually considering maybe a, a sort of going through the process of making a game like Angry Birds. Uh, maybe not Angry Birds exactly, but... Uh, I remember when I, was in high, when I was in high school, I'd get on the computer and you can get on those dodgy game sites. I say dodgy, they were not actually dodgy, there's nothing wrong with them. I just mean the sites that could get around the school's firewalls, whatever. I don't know how it worked. It was just accessible. And you could play games like Castle Crushers, and it's basically literally what Angry Birds is, except Castle Crushers came first. So what I'm talking about, anyway, is uh, setting up a physics project. Um, a physics game you can throw some and you knock over a piece of wood and all the other things fall down and you could call it an angry birds replica or a castle crusher replica or whatever i just fancy making one of them perhaps uh other suggestions could be actually written down wrote down a list i'm sure i wrote down a list call it the idea list no i guess i didn't i just in this paper I just have a quick look now, so we can find that list, just to read out a few ideas, see if anyone likes any. Because if you do, just leave a comment, and if you've got your own ideas as well. Uh. No, 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 no. No, I don't seem to be able to find these ideas. I'm just trying to do some top of my head, like, I don't want to obviously do videos that already exist. Oh, here we go, found them, sorry. Uh, don't want to just like copy other people's videos or sort of just carry on with a trend. I want to make custom tutorials. Um, so make make suggestions, even if it's just uh, just one question. How do you do this? I can make you a video and, and show you how to do it, and then you go bam, done, sorted. Well, the ideas were uh, a breakout clone, which is this one. Uh, someone said a Flappy Bird clone. I mean, I'm I'm sure they exist already. The tutorials for that, but I could do one of them. Um, a platformer again, the platform is, in my opinion, one of the easiest games to make, so I'm sure there's going to be loads of platformer tutorials. But you could see my approach to it. I imagine there are loads of different approaches to them. An idle clicker game, uh, let's think like, like Cookie Clicker or uh, Tap Titans, that sort of game. Angry Bird style, so I just mentioned that one. Uh, 2D runner. 2D oh 2D endless runner sort of thing, an RPG, a real time strategy, tower defense, and blackjack. These are some ideas that I've had in. Um, don't know. Uh, yeah, just leave some comments. Let me know. I'm I'm just pick an idea off the list or something I can come up with myself. Like I say, I quite fancy doing the physics style game next, so I might look into an Angry Birds. 
Like not not an exactly like Angry Birds though, because I'm pretty sure as an Angry Birds tutorial already exists. But hey, you never know. If I can find my own approach to it, I can. Or just just do anything really. I might just record something and hope it turns into something. Just trying to teach you guys what I know. As you can see through these videos, I don't know everything. I'm not an expert. There are things that elude me still, evade me, elude me. I don't know what word I mean. Huh. Anyway, that's it really. That's me just waffling, so I might as well shut up now. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching all these videos. I hope you've liked them all. If you haven't, I hope you've left me a comment to say, you know, I oh, don't like this. Or, Your accent smells like cheese. I don't know. Someone please comment on one of the videos telling me my accent smells like cheese because that would be kind of funny. Although it might not be as funny now. Because, like, loads of you might do it. And I'm like, oh, come on, guys. It's, it's cruel. I don't know. Give it a go. Maybe I'll forget. Anyway, yeah. So, that's it for this series. Um, I may possibly come up with different things to add in to change around. I might do a video for the menu. I'm not totally sure. I've seen people do tutorials and they say, oh, I might do this and I might do this. And then they never do. Um, so, you know, no promises. But... Let me know if, if that's something you want. If you want to know a bit more customization on the menu, I'll, I'll do that. I'll show you. Um, that's it, really. I'm just sort of looking now for your guys' guidance in, in what you guys want to see. Uh, because you can probably find a lot of tutorials of the ideas I just suggested. If you've got something more specific, you know, drop an idea, drop a hint, a comment, not a hint. Because if you give me a hint, give me a riddle, I might not figure it out. But yeah. So, uh, hopefully, you've hoped by now that you would have subscribed. If not, you know, click the subscribe button so you can see the new videos that people suggest and I'll make them. I'll come up with my own stuff as well. Um, like I said, I don't want to follow a trend. I want to try and be different. Helps you find helps you find my videos, really, I suppose, if it's not buried with another hundred other type at the same time. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the series. I think I've said that now like a million times. So, I'm just going to go. Um, maybe I'll have another video out by the time you're watching this so go and check the channel perhaps there's something new give it a go I'll see you later guys thanks for watching